Hey guys, today I'm going to take apart my uh, Vision Tech HD 4870 and uh, give it a cleaning. Um, I always take my computer apart about every month and blow it out, get all the dust and stuff out, but I haven't removed the uh, fan covers and stuff on the video card itself, so I'm kind of curious to see how much gunk is accumulated in there. It's uh, been about a year and nine months, not quite two years since I've put this card in and I've uh, yet to take that turbine cover and stuff off to see what's in it so I was kind of curious as to how dirty it was and what difference in temperature it'll make. Uh, right now we just have it idling with uh, zero load and fan speed at uh, 40 percent. Temperature is about 41. So I'm going to run this uh, System Soft Sandra benchmark on it and uh, rev up the video card a little and, and see what the temperatures max out on when we run a benchmark on it. I don't know if you can see that right now, but the uh, activity is at 99%. Temperature is up to 48 Celsius. We'll let it run here and uh, see where it ends up at. It's a fairly small test, so it shouldn't take but a minute or two to run it. Okay, we hit 50 degrees Celsius. 51. 52. 53, 54, okay that's the end of the test so about 54 Celsius. So I'm going to tear this computer down, pull the card out and then we'll uh, take a look at how much gunk is in there and see what it looks like. Okay I got the card pulled out as you can see there's some surface dust on it from the fan blowing on it that's uh, bringing cold air in. I don't know if you can make out all the gunk in here. Uh, normally just blowing out the card would probably remove a lot of that. What I'm concerned about is up up, up in here where your uh, heat sinks are and stuff. If that's uh, accumulated a bunch of dust and uh, kept the air from flowing through there like it should. So we're going to pop this cover off and uh, have a look see what it looks like in there and how bad it needs cleaning. Okay, if you're going to do this on a HD card like this, or many of the ATI ones, probably your, I know your 4850s, real similar, and uh, maybe some of the 3800 series, you want to remove all of the screws on the bottom, including your uh, GPU retainer plate. There is uh, four screws with uh, springs on them that hold that on, so make sure you don't lose your springs on that. And uh, once they're all disconnected, you should be able to pop the card right off. We're going to uh, check out our thermal paste here, which looks pretty bad. Probably redo that, and I'm going to break down this uh, cooler and see if we can get inside it and see what a mess it is. Okay, we got it all apart. Uh, basically, there's seven little screws on these backing plates to uh, remove this top cover and then you can pop the whole uh, heat pipe assembly out. And if you can see that, doesn't that look yummy? Yeah, I had a feeling it was uh, probably getting plugged up. So, uh, that's kind of the gunk you get in them. <laughs> We're going to clean this up with a brush and then blow through it, see if we can get it all clean, and then uh, also try to clean up this uh, turbine fan some. It didn't look too bad on the inside here, or I should say, I guess that would be the outside of it, but on the inside of the wheels, there's a lot of gunk in there. So we're going to take a brush to them too and see if we can clean them all up, and then we'll put some new thermal compound on and uh, put it back together, but I uh, just wanted to get a shot of this before I cleaned it, just so you can see how filthy they can get and uh, how much it can block your airflow, and you have to crank your fan up even 
higher and make it louder and more obnoxious just to do the same cooling it used to do at a slower speed because of the lack of airflow in it. Well, here's a shot of some of the crap that's come out of it uh, before I even blew out the parts of the compressor. That was just out of the uh, fan and the stuff that was on the uh, end of the heat pipe assembly. So you can see there was uh, quite a bit of junk in there, so now we're going to take the compressor to it and blow these out and uh, see if we can clean them up better. Okay, we're just getting ready to uh, assemble it now. Put a little Arctic Silver 5 on the uh, GPU and on the memory. And uh, we're going to start putting heat sink and stuff on it. Start putting it all back together. Okay, we got her all done, ready to put her in the machine. Uh, I just take a rag and a little rubbing alcohol and wipe it all down when I'm done. All the plastics and stuff, get rid of the fingerprints, helps kill germs and stuff on it. Cleans it up, gives it a nice shine. Uh, if you really are picky about your plastic, a good tip for them is uh, use a little bit of mop and glow. It'll really make plastic shine. But uh, we're going to put that in there and check the temperatures.